what's up and welcome to or welcome back to my channel so for today's video it's gonna be a little bit different we're here in my kitchen today so not my usual setup but that's because we are going to be making homemade iced coffee so i asked you guys on instagram a few days ago on my stories which if you're not following me over on there sorry the dryer or washer just turned on but if you're not following me on my instagram it will be linked down below but I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video on how to make iced coffee at home and pretty much 100% of you said yes. So here we are and I really wanted to make this video right now because we're all here stuck at home and we can't visit all of the coffee shops and Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts that we usually like to go to get coffee. I know a lot of places, at least around here, are doing like coffee delivery and stuff and Starbucks still has their drive throughs open. But honestly, I would rather make my coffee here at home because I don't really want to go out when I don't have to and you shouldn't be going out when you don't have to. And I don't really want to drink from a cup that who knows who touched it. So that's why we are here today. Now this is really really easy and I'll show you everything that I'm using and honestly the star of the show is this cold brew coffee maker. So this one here is from the brand Bodum but honestly you can get whatever one you like because there are so many of these cold brew coffee makers. This one I found at Target and it's pretty reasonably priced. It's under $20 I think so I will link it down below if you guys want to pick it up and I'm sure Target is still doing shipping so you can go ahead and order it and have it shipped to your house. Just be careful when you pick up that package, wear some gloves or wipe it off or something. But I will link some other ones down below too if you like to shop in other places more than Target. And they're all pretty affordable and really easy to use. So let's go ahead and get started. You can pretty much use whatever coffee grounds you want. You can grind your own beans, whatever you want to do. The ones I just have here at my house is this big canister. I believe it's from Sam's Club or Costco or something. It is a medium roast, but honestly, I don't really prefer one roast over the other. I know light roast has the most caffeine, I think. Dark roast is a little bit bitter for me, so medium is a nice in-between. But honestly, I'll take any of them if it's giving me some caffeine and tastes like coffee. I'm going to go ahead and take this lid off, if I can do so without breaking it. So for hot coffee, I know that you're supposed to do like two to three tablespoons of coffee grounds per cup. But with iced coffee, it's a little bit of a different story. There's no way that 20 some tablespoons of coffee is not gonna like jam this thing up. So usually for this cold brew maker, I like to do like 15 tablespoons of coffee grounds and this is a 12 cup cold brew maker. So that's usually a good ratio. I haven't really done this in a while because I have a different one at my apartment that I make my coffee in. So we'll see how this turns out, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, so this is what 15 tablespoons of coffee grounds looks like in here. Now I'm gonna take this over to the fridge and fill it up with water pretty much all the way, like up until this white part here. Um, and then I will be right back to show you what you do before you put it in the fridge overnight. Okay, so now that this is filled up with water, you can see that the coffee grounds are kind of just floating all around in the water in here. And I can't really tilt it to show you guys, but the top is like all puffed up with the coffee grounds on top so i'm just gonna take my spoon and kind of press that down a little bit honestly overnight the grounds will settle out a little bit more and not all be stuck at the top here but it's just nice to kind of get them moving a little bit before you put it in the fridge sorry if you hear some slurping my dog is drinking water okay so you can see that the water has definitely gotten a little bit darker with all of the grounds moving around in there and now it's time to put the lid on this and let it sit. So if you guys end up getting either this cold brew maker or something similar that has this um, thing on the top that pushes down, you want to make sure that overnight you keep it up like this. So hopefully you have room in your fridge for something this tall. But make sure the lid is on pretty tight and locked so it's not going to come up or anything and you can tell if this one's locked by where the arrows are here and make sure the top is all pressed down and that is locked as well some cold room makers are a little bit different some say you need to let them sit for 24 hours this one i believe is like 12 to 16 hours so it's currently 
almost 7 30 when i'm making this so this will definitely be ready by tomorrow morning so i'm gonna put this in the fridge overnight and let it cool and then i will be back in the morning to show you guys the final steps of this and give you a little review of how the coffee tastes oh i should probably mention too that the reason you want to leave this up is in the morning um, you will press it down and it ends up pushing all of the grounds down to the bottom, but whatever it's settling and like blending with the water overnight, you want to make sure all of the grounds are kind of mixing and mingling with the water so it actually tastes like coffee and the grounds aren't pressed down to the bottom. Hi guys, good morning. Well, I guess afternoon now. It's 12 o'clock, but we're ready to finish off the iced coffee and then try it out. So I have the picture of it here and this has been in the fridge well over 12 hours since I made it at 7.30 last night. And now we're gonna finish it off. So what you're gonna want to do if you have one like this or this exact one, you're basically just gonna push this down which pushes all of the coffee grounds down to the bottom. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Okay I think that's as far down as it's gonna go. Yep so the top is all the way down to the bottom now and you can see that we're just left with coffee here so yay okay so i have my little mason jar here with ice in it ready to go to pour the coffee in i like a pretty decent amount of ice in my iced coffee i hate when it has like two or three ice cubes in it i always ask for extra ice at starbucks so i filled this up with some ice and i'm just gonna pour the coffee in here and it works like a regular pitcher you want to push this down so the coffee comes out And then I'm going to add this cute little silicone straw that I got from FabFitFun. If you didn't see that video, I will link it up above. But I'm going to taste it first before I put my cream in. Usually I like cream in my iced coffee. I go for a vanilla creamer, but I can sometimes do it just black if I'm in the mood. But I want to taste it now just so you guys can see how the actual coffee tastes without any flavor. Pretty good. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cream because I... I've been in the mood for iced coffee with vanilla so this is the one that i have this coffee mate vanilla natural flavor one and i'm just gonna add a little bit maybe a lot of it actually i like my coffee to be pretty light um not like too light where it just looks milky but let's see a little bit more Also, please ignore my nails. They are all chipped, but I am ready to paint them soon after I finish all of this schoolwork today. I want to do like a cute springy design on them or try something fun. So we'll see how that goes. But the coffee looks pretty good and I'm excited to have it out of this cute little straw in my mason jar. So yeah, that's better now. Obviously, I still have a whole bunch of this left, so I'm just going to put this back in the fridge and save it for coffee later or tomorrow and probably the next few days as well since we do have a good bit of it there and I'm the only one that drinks coffee in my house. So that completes this at-home iced coffee tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you're a coffee drinker like me, I would definitely recommend giving this method a try if you already have one of these iced coffee makers at your house or if you want to go ahead and buy one, I will link some down below for you guys to shop. And I hope you guys have fun making your iced coffee at home. I know this is a pretty stressful time, but some good coffee always makes things a little bit better. Just to remind you guys, this makes 12 cups of coffee and I added 15 tablespoons of coffee grounds in here. Obviously you can tweak it a little bit if you like your coffee a different way, stronger, less strong, or if you just don't have enough coffee grounds. I usually don't measure out that accurately. Um, whenever I'm adding them to this thing, I kind of just eyeball it, but I did for you guys here on camera because I wanted to be a little bit professional. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you would subscribe down below. I upload videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Sundays. So I'd love to have you back here and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.